Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate you a new package, Laravel package called Laravel Pay Pocket, which was released a few months ago, created by this guy, Hamed Panier, I hope I pronounced it correctly, and it allows you to have wallets inside of your project, virtual wallets, with wallet history, and your users would be able to add virtual money to that wallet or pay for something kind of like credits or virtual currency and i've created a demo project for that and i will showcase you how it works so for example you have a user and then any user could deposit some amount maybe purchase some credits like i don't know hundred dollars or virtual currency to one of the wallets so this package allows multiple wallets for example business account deposit done successfully and then for example let's deposit 200 to personal account how it looks in the database then there is a table called wallets with polymorphic relationship on who's the owner it doesn't necessarily have to be users so then business and personal type and the balance and then there are also wallets logs so what happened with those wallets? For example, here I transferred the money I bought, so to speak, the credits, and this is in the logs now. You can view those logs in transactions table or purchase something. So I've created kind of a shop, virtual shop with various prices for various products. So for example, I want to buy Laravel daily membership for 99, order paid successfully, and what the package does it tries to build from one wallet but if it's not enough then it builds from another wallet so for example if i buy laracast membership as well order paid successfully but now look what happens in transactions laravel daily membership is fully paid from business expenses business account business wallet and then laracast membership is split one dollar or one credit from business which was the leftover there and then the rest from personal account in the code it looks like this so for example deposit controller and we want to deposit some money into one of our wallets so here's the method deposit to currently logged in user specify the wallet and the amount so nothing really fancy we use try catch using the exception class from that package in case of something goes wrong and by the way, I will talk about that in a few upcoming videos. I will share various Laravel tips from that package, including exceptions and how they work. So subscribe to the channel and don't forget to watch a few upcoming videos. But basically, this is how you deposit to the wallet. Then there's shop controller with method Laravel pay pocket pay. And in here, we do not provide the wallet. The package automatically charges one or another wallet. And there may be also insufficient balance exception. So for example, if we want to pay for something that is outside of our budget, let's buy one more subscription and then one more. And then it should be with error, insufficient balance to cover the order. So yeah, this is how exceptions look like on the front end side. Then transaction controller is basically just getting the logs from the current user and of course to make it work in the user model we need to add something which is use managers wallet from this package and also a few more things added here and we add wallet logs with has many through so pretty simple package but it would help you if you want to have some kind of virtual currency in your laravel project as i said in the upcoming videos we will discuss a few technical details of that package which would be great laravel tips and tricks and lessons for short videos like i do on this channel so subscribe and see you guys in other videos